Dolphins are what we call charismatic megafauna, which means that people view them as charismatic. People get excited about some animals more than they get excited about others. One, two, three, big circle! But that's okay because then we can use that to get them to conserve uh, in general. So if we're conserving the dolphins, that means we're conserving their habitat, which means we're conserving all of the animals that live in that habitat as well. Hi guys. My name is Dr. Kelly Yakala. I am a cognitive researcher. Uh, right now works with dolphins. You wanna do a high five? No? This one? You can't really reach. I know it's hard to reach up here. So for other people, they might get inspired by the dolphin's beauty or their athleticism, et cetera. Oh, no! Very nice! I know! Oh, you want to come play too? What do you think? For me, it was watching them think. Wow! Now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. So, Dolphin Research Center is a nonprofit research and education facility in the Florida Keys. And there are a number of questions that uh, you can't answer in the wild. Perfect. You'll see situations where they seem to be cooperating. They seem to be doing the same thing at the same time. But you can't tell from just looking at that whether or not they're understanding cooperation or if they're just doing something at the same time. Uh, in this study, we set up a game, and the game was we had two buttons, and to win the game, the dolphins have to press the buttons at the same time, within a one-second window, which is really, really close. So in order to show that they understand cooperation, you have to sometimes send them at different times. And one, two, three, go. Okay, so Reese was sent first, and you see he doesn't go immediately to his button. And now Delta is sent. And we'll see. And they did it! Yay! 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 Woo! Very nice! Yay! By the end of this study, they were pressing an average of a third of a second apart, which is really tight coordination. The most obvious next step is, okay, well, how are they doing it? Are the dolphins using some sort of verbal communication? Maybe they're using synchrony, so maybe they sync up with each other and swim together, etc. Other questions we can look at are, are there ways that that cooperation in the wild might be disrupted? So for example, if they're using a kind of vocal communication, then noise pollution uh, might get in the way of that. Any sort of facility has to have a way of supporting their animals. And for us, that largely comes from the visitors that walk through the door. One of the big roles that marine mammal facilities play is getting people to make a connection in order to conserve and then care. And it's that moment of connection that's the start of conservation mindedness. You know, it's fine to give people information. Information is great. But that information is only useful if people care enough to actually go out and do something. Okay, I'm going to kiss my camera. Are you ready? Can you do some kissing to the camera? Oh, you're trying to be hungry for me. 